Hallöchen und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Stanley Parable und wir fangen wieder an. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Boah, die Tür. Drei, vier. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yeah. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, yeah. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A okay. measly five clicks. Mm -hmm. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. <laughs> okay. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, zwanzig. Hmm, I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Okay. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Alter! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ich klicke einfach durch. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417. Okay. We feel 20. 417. Oh. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Boah, bums doch den Otter. Wieder zurück. 437. Was? 437? Wo ist das denn? Hier. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, yeah. door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Ja, ja, ja. Du hast recht. 415. 10 clicks. Du hast recht. Now, back to door number 437. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Was? Wie soll ich da hochkommen? Yes! Whoa. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Gerne, gerne. We've almost got it! Okay. Now the copy machine, do that one again! <lacht> ich bin schon auf dem Weg! Komm, komm schon! Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Ja! 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 Oh, wow. Boah. That felt amazing. Ja. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing oh. could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just oh. think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. <laughs> really, now? What were you thinking? Gute Frage. <sighs> Wir haben es geschafft. Das freut mich so sehr. Kann man da nicht hoch irgendwie? Hier über den Stuhl? Nee. Wie komme ich da hoch? Huch! Äh. Äh. Irgendwie konnte man doch da rüber, oder? Das muss ich mal probieren. Äh, wenn es hier geht, warum geht es nicht hier? Komm schon. Komm schon, ich will da hoch. Hm. So, der PC ist aus. Weiß nicht, was das gebracht hat, aber... Halt, jetzt hätten wir es gehabt. Äh, komm. Komm schon. Komm 
schon. Hopp. Hopp. Ah. So ganz vorsichtig. Auch leck mich doch am Otter. Wie schaffen es immer die Leute darüber? Keine Ahnung. Lass uns einfach mal was probieren. Wir gehen einfach weiter. So. Mal alle Bildschirme ausmachen. Input received. I hate Mondays. Nicht nur du, nicht nur du. When Stanley came oh. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ja, okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might Na, find no? an answer there. Was das denn hier? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Ich find's schön hier. Oh, guck mal, ein Besen. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Ich nenne dich Hans den Besen. Du bist mein bester Freund. Der ganzen Welt. Es war Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. <lacht> ich kann ja nichts nehmen hier. Geht nichts. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Mm -hmm. Standing around doing nothing? Yeah. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Weil Engländer. Boah, cool hier. Du realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Ja. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Uh -huh. It didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Hm. I never would have thought to mention it. Okay. Ich finde ihn toll. Also ich bleib hier. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." I hope your friends find this concerning. Mir gefällt das Ende. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Hallo? Was geht bei dir? Erstmal beleidigen, oder was? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Nö. Mir gefällt sie ja echt. Ich finde sie ja klasse. Ich bin übrigens der Milchfurcht sein Nachfolger. Ich bin der Kakaofurcht. Keine Ahnung.
Hallo? Ich will hier drin bleiben. Hier ist schön. Vielleicht mal Tür auf und Tür zu machen. <lacht> ne, ich bleib hier. Mir gefällt's hier. Du kannst, kannst machen, was du willst. Mir gefällt's hier. Oder ich gehe raus und wieder rein. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. Ja. I guarantee, you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Okay. Ich will da rein. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay. Hm. Ja. Ich bin soweit. Okay. Mir gefällt's hier einfach. Tut mir leid. Mach was du willst. Mal alles anschauen hier in Ruhe. Klebeband. Noch mehr Klebeband. Noch mehr Klebeband. Eine Rohrzange. Ein Kabel oder ein Schlauch. Hans der Besen. Das ist dem Hans sein Besenreiniger. Der Hansi. Hier haben wir eine Kneifzange. Hier haben wir eine... Was ist das denn? Äh... Könnten Tacker sein. Oder ein Hundeleine, Halter, Band, Dingens da. Hier haben wir noch eine Zange, noch eine Zange. Ist es hier so eine Art Folterstudio oder was? Und Hans der Besen ist der Folterer. Jetzt wissen wir es. Oh mein Gott. Muss ich noch was machen oder? Eigentlich gibt es doch hier so ein Ende. Lass mal rausgehen. Wir gehen auch wieder zurück einfach. Irgendwie kriege ich das nicht. Hm. Was muss ich denn noch bedenken hier? Ich gucke erstmal Hansi an. Hansi ist ein toller. Ich finde es schön hier. Ach ja. Ich glaube, hier gibt es kein Ende. Wir machen einfach weiter. Komm, hat keinen Wert. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nö. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Das ist mein. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. 
He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Huh? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head yeah. dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Huh? He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Mm -hmm. Everything will be fine. Okay. I am okay. Okay. <sighs> Oh, ich bin immer noch hier. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I Wohl, must be real. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Bam. <laughs> ich glaube, das war wieder ein Ende. This is the story of a woman hm? named Mariella. Was? Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Ach, But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran hm da haben wir also selbstmord begangen <lacht> tja das war eine weitere Folge des Stanley Parable hier auf Milchfurcht. Und morgen geht's weiter. Bis dann. Ciao.